Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today I have a 2021 Honda Pilot. I'm going to walk through how to install the Curt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. Adding a Class 3 hitch to your vehicle is going to give you a lot of different options, whether that's putting a bike rack on, uh, cargo carrier, or even pulling a trailer. With the bike rack, we don't have to try to load them up on top of the roof or uh, we won't have to carry them inside the vehicle. Cargo carrier, we can get some cargo out from inside the vehicle, put it on the cargo carrier, and make a little extra room for passengers. This is what our hitch is gonna look like installed. Cross tube is completely hidden behind our bumper fascia, so it maintains a nice clean look. The only thing we really see is our receiver tube. It's tucked up nice and close up to the bottom of the fascia. It also is tucked in back behind the fascia, or forward, so um, if we're trying to load the back of our vehicle or unload it, we're not going to have to worry about hitting our legs or our shins on it. It's going to be a steel construction with a black powder coat finish, so it's really going to help resist any rust or corrosion. We're going to have a 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening, so again it's going to give us a lot of different options for hitch mount accessories. A reinforced collar, give us a little extra stability there. Hitch pin hole here is going to be 5 8 inch in diameter. It's going to take a standard 5 8 hitch pin. The hitch pin and clip does not come with this hitch, however it can be found here at eTrailer. The hitch pin is going to allow you to secure your items in the receiver. We're going to have rolled steel safety chain loops. These are going to be welded to the bottom of the receiver tube. You can see we have very large openings that will accommodate different size safety chain hooks. Now I'm going to give you a few measurements and weight capacities to help you when deciding on any of those hitch mount accessories like your bike racks, ball mounts, or cargo carriers. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our bumper is going to be about four and a half inches. You want to keep that number in mind for any of your hitch mount accessories that may fold up against the vehicle. You want to make sure they're not going to make contact. From the ground to the top innermost part of our receiver tube is going to be about 14 inches. Keep that number in mind for any of those hitch mount accessories that may require a little bit more ground clearance. As far as our weight capacities go, we're going to have a 900 pound max tongue weight or gross tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So whatever you're loading on it, whether it's a cargo carrier or your trailer, you're going to make sure you're not exceeding that downward pressure. We're going to have a 6,000 pound gross trailer weight, which is the trailer plus the load included. I always recommend checking the owner's manual of the vehicle. Make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You're going to go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. You can use weight distribution with this hitch. Tongue weight is going to stay the same. However, when using weight distribution, the trailer weight is going to go up to 8,000 pounds. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk through how to get it installed. To start our installation, we're going to need to lower our spare tire or remove it. We're going to come into the back of our vehicle, we're going to lift up this panel, and right in the middle we're going to have this uh, plastic cap. Take a flathead screwdriver or trim panel tool, we'll pop this up, you're going to have a rubber cap here, pull that up, and this is where we lower our spare tire. Come over to our driver's side. This panel, right behind it is where your spare tire tools are. Pop this off, and on the lid, you're gonna have this tool. We'll slide the end on, and then you just wanna turn it to lower your tire. Now this is a brand new vehicle, but our mounting locations on our frame rails are open to the elements, so if you've driven your vehicle for a little while, might be a good idea if you take a nylon tube brush and just clean out the threads because we don't want our hardware to cross thread inside of there. We're gonna have three on the passenger side and three on the driver's side. Next, with the next set of hands, we're gonna raise our hitch up and in place. We're gonna have a hex nut, conical tooth washer. We're gonna make sure that the teeth are facing up towards the hitch. We'll raise it up, line it up with the holes. We'll get one bolt put on each side. That'll support our hitch while we install our remaining hardware. We're going to use the same combination of hardware. We're going to have three holes on both sides of the vehicle, or both frame rails. And we'll come back with a 7-8 socket, and we'll tighten all of our hardware. Next, we'll come back and we're going to torque our hardware to the specifications listed in the instructions. Once you're done torquing all your hardware, you can reinstall your spare tire in reverse order from the way you took it off, and you're ready to go. It's going to do it for look at and installation. 
on the Kurt Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver on a 2021 Honda Pilot.